Okay, the ones in this next video, I just want to explain some of the basic terms that you might encounter and hear while we are performing the different techniques while using the triangular language. The first one is what we call the crossover, meaning we are crossing our tails over one another. The next one is what we call the overhand loop. When you say overhand loop, we normally place one tail on top of the other and it's the one that we wrap on the other tail that we under. That's what we call an overhand loop. Usually in performing this kernel, we practice the crossover, overhand loop, which means the tail that is on top is the one that we will be wrapping on the tail that is at the bottom. Just take note when you see underhand loop. So if I cross over, the tail that is at the bottom part is the one that we tie on the tail that is on top. And if you're performing this work, that is usually where the students make mistakes. And that's why my advice to my students is to always perform the thumbs up position. The both tails, the right tail and the left tail, are are in a thumbs up position from where they are pointing upward so that students won't be making a mistake if for example they are in a different position let's say for example they are performing the square knot in a way that they are they need to tie it in front or they need to tie it in this way from the back to the victim another term that you might hear as we try to have our discussions in the triangular banding techniques is what we call the twist or fold. Okay? Now, if we want to perform the square knot, we will need to perform and combine some of these terms so that we can go and try to perform the full square knot. 